What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Connor Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Andy Ruiz. Andy Ruiz to Dillian White. He says, you didn't want the smoke. I'm moving on. Andy Ruiz told social media today that Dillian White basically ducked him and plans on moving on to his next opponent. Ruiz can't afford to play games with White or his promoter at Matchroom Boxing. And he won't stall out his career wasting time on a fight that won't get made. <clears throat> the former IBF, WBA, WBO heavyweight champion, Andy Ruiz, 33-2 and 22, says he has a big announcement coming soon on his next fight. Ruiz isn't saying who his opponent will be, but it's going to be someone talented for him to be saying it, to be saying it'll be a big announcement. And it may be one of these fighters, Oscar Rivas, Luis Ortiz, Michael Hunter, Philip Argovich, Joseph Parker, or Adam Kaunaki. <clears throat> now, this article asked the question, whoever the um, Arthur is, the writer, it says, was Hearn ever serious or seriously interested in using Ruiz for white? Okay. And <clears throat> he basically said, Matchroom promoter Eddie Hearn likely was never going to give Ruiz his asking price because he was already he already had Alexander Povetkin waiting in the wings to fight him. If Povetkin wasn't an option, then Hearn would have likely given Ruiz the five million or whatever his asking price is to take the fight with White. What Hearn doesn't realize is that the boxing fans don't want to see. White versus Povetkin. Maybe if that fight took place 10 years ago and Povetkin still, is still a good fighter, then maybe, but not now. Povetkin is looking shot to pieces at this point in his career. With Ruiz Jr. no longer an option, White 27, 1 and 18 will, not, <clears throat> will now fight 40-year-old Alexander Povetkin. This arguably is the fight that Hearn wanted all along. Povetkin is no threat to beating White. So it keeps his career afloat for a little while longer. Now, let me counterpunch this, guys. Um, this is weird to me, and I'm going to tell you why it's weird. Okay. Andy, Andy Ruiz said to Dillian White, you didn't want the smoke. I'm moving on. Okay. The question you ask yourself, were there any legitimate offers made? Now, see, <clears throat> if there were offers made, the negotiations didn't take place. Andy Ruiz could look at the contract and accept it or reject it. Simple as that. You know, he can reject it. <clears throat> if he rejects it, he can reject it with notes, side notes. Hey, I want more money. I want a little bit more. I think I'm worth more to fight white than, you know, uh, what you're offering me. Now, this seems weird because Andy Ruiz is like, I don't have time to be playing games with white or his promoters at Matchroom. This is weird. He knows who his promoter is. He just worked with him twice all of last year. Well, you know, the good part of last year for two fights out of the three fights that he's had. Okay, so for him saying, well, I don't have good time to play games with his promoters. Well, if he's if he's got an offer, <clears throat> that's a totally different story. If he hasn't got an offer at all, that's a whole different other story. Then he could say this. Then he could move on with his career. It almost sounds like it, with Ruiz, me reading this, it sounds like he's already made his decision to fight someone else. What was the time frame of negotiations? Were there any negotiations? This big announcement coming soon. It's like, okay, um, well, you could very well easily say that maybe you weren't interested in fighting white. 
because maybe you didn't get the money that you're supposed to get. But again, I don't know if there's any were any uh, legitimate offers made to um, uh, <clears throat> Ruiz. <laughs> so I don't know how serious he was about actually accepting an offer and to, you know, go back into the matchroom den and fighting another fighter with matchroom with Eddie Hearn, you know, because he's one and one at this point. Now, we heard buzz around that, around will he take the fight or not. But I will say this about Ruiz. If he fights Oscar Rivas, Luis Ortiz, Joseph Parker, or Adam Kalnaki, that would be good fights for him. You know, and I know Adam Kalnaki and Luis Ortiz are easier to make. So if he picks any of those guys, that'll let you know that he probably got received an offer from Eddie Hearn, then went back to his advisor slash promoter, um, Al Heyman, and said, well, hey, this is what they're offering me to fight white. What do you have for me? What are your recommendations? What would you advise me to do? And and if he comes up with, Lu if, it, if it's Luis Ortiz, because he could have said you could fight Luis Ortiz or Joseph Parker, okay? <clears throat> If it's, I mean, I'm sorry, or Alan Kalnaki. If it's any of those, if it's any of those guys, you, that'll let you know that he went the Al Heyman route, and none of this is valid because we're not saying that he turned down anything. He's not saying that hey, they lowballed me like that normal, like that old narrative that they used to give uh, the reputation for Eddie Hearn, like oh, he lowballed us and this and that. And the other, he was just like oh, it's it, it's not enough substance in this. You know, I don't have time to wait around. Like, you know, his team, did you legitimately wait around or is this just to make people think that you are waiting for an offer that you never received? Because if that's the case and if we find out that it's another PBC fighter that's bullshitting and saying that, oh, I never received an offer or, you know, something like that. And then Eddie Hearn comes out with, no, mate, we sent you an offer. You never responded to us, but you did put this on social media. That'll tell us that you had no intention on fighting Dillian White. You went the other route. You went the route of your advisor. If it's Luis Ortiz and Adam Kalnaki because they're PBC fighters, that means that he was already in negotiation was fighting someone else on that other side of the street besides Dillian White himself. You know what I'm saying? So the deals were a little bit better. And I guarantee you this. If he fights Adam Kalnaki and Luis Ortiz and he don't get more than $5 million, he got fucked. But he took the money just to stay comfortable with where he was. Because where he was, he felt like he's at home. He feels more comfortable fighting on his banner. A lot of those guys do that over there. So that'll let you know. Not saying if that's the case. So if he ends up fighting Oscar Rivas, which is a top-ranked guy, Okay, or um, or Joseph Parker, which is another matchroom guy. That's totally different. But if it was Joseph Parker, we would have heard from Eddie Hearn that it was a possible Joseph Parker fight. And we know it is not Joseph Parker because he's coming into the ring, I think, in March. And unless that's going to be the fighter that he decides to fight. But from December to March, I doubt that's enough time for uh, um, Andy Ruiz with all the access weight that he's put on. You know, we don't know where he's been and he's been on vacation for a couple months, right? So I doubt it's Joseph Parker, you know, uh, <clears throat> Michael Hunter. He was sparring with Michael Hunter. You know, uh, I honestly wouldn't want to see that fight. Those guys, they sparred together, but, you know, we didn't see anything spectacular. I didn't see any really thing spectacular about Michael Hunter. He lacks power. He has pretty decent speed, but, you know, um, that's pretty much it. He's, you know, he's a young fighter. You know, can he get better? Sure. But I wouldn't want to see that fight for Andy Ruiz now, especially when you, we talked up white and was thinking that maybe there's a white versus Ruiz fight. And then Ruiz can fight wherever, like on back on the zone or whatever. And then, you know, give us a good fight. And we'll see if these guys can get their name off the redemption list. So we don't know. I mean, we just have to see. But if it's, uh, again, guys, if it's any of those PBC fighters, we know what happened. And this is all smoke and mirrors. This was just a big front to let everybody think that uh, Dillian White did not want this fight. And he just decided to go another route. And he didn't want people to think that he ducked. So, of course, if he, you know, if you don't want people to think that you're the ducking fighter or the avoiding fighter, 
you're running from a fight, you're going to automatically do the reverse psychology on somebody and say, no, 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 it was him. I ain't got time to wait. <laughs> but anyway, that's my counterpunch on that. You guys tell me what you think about Andy Ruiz telling Dillian White he didn't want the smoke and moving on. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.